here with a spring and Easter decor, how I'm decorating. So I thought we'd start off in the kitchen area. On the side I've just got some um, Easter candle eggs that my friend Georgie Dorset gave me. She's got her own YouTube channel so go and check out Do Georgie. And I've also got a Yankee candle in um, clean cotton because I thought that was quite spring-like. At some point I would really like to get the Yankee candle Easter bunny, um, so uh, bunny cupcake or the white chocolate bunny but um when the pennies allow so that's just on the on the side um there as you can see and also in the kitchen hanging on the hook i've got a uh, metal heart in spring colors so just um just a few bits in the kitchen nothing too over the top just a few bits just to kind of spruce it up and then in the hallway on the mirror i've got um, a set of three um, egg shaped candles that my mum bought me a few years ago I've been bringing them out to every every spring and Easter I've been bringing those out and I just think they're really really pretty colours and on the um, shelf I've just got um, a green candle that I got from Ikea some years ago um, a yellow vase which says smile and be happy on it because it's just really springy and a set of three wooden blocks one says spring one says hippity hop and I got those this year actually off of eBay and I'll try and I'll link the seller of those um, over on my blog post so that's pretty much it for the hallway let's go through it into the front room above the on the mantelpiece under this mirror and above the fireplace I've just got a yellow um, wooden duck or chick whatever it is it's like a it's like a duck but um, I really like it and I've got um, another couple of the egg shaped candles again that my mum brought me and I've got a clear vase that we got given as a wedding present with just some lovely lovely spring daffodils in and then a wooden wooden bunny um, as you know from our living room it's we've got really neutral um, we've got white walls um, a beigey carpet which wasn't actually our carpet we do want to change that and just sort of beigey browny um, sofas so that I've kept it really neutral so that we can change um, the decor around as and when we want to because my oh because you can see behind hiding behind there there's a candle that um, a purple candle that you can't actually see when you look at the fireplace straight on um, we're still saving up at some point we want to buy a new TV stand um, and a new matching coffee table um, on the coffee table is uh, my rustic pinch bowl that um, I did a tutorial for on my other channel and I'll link that um, below. I'm really proud of it and it's sitting centre stage on my coffee table full of some Easter sweeties. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we've kept the, um, you know, like the colour scheme really neutral in the um, living room so that we can you know change as and when we want to um, you know add some more deco decorative decorative pieces um, I've still got the same cushions the teal cushions that I've showed you before at some point when um, I've saved up the pennies I'd like to get some ones for spring um, but you know it's a long-term project but I just like thought you might like to see um, how I've decorated this spring um, and I'll pop a link below as well to the autumn decor that I did um, funnily enough back in autumn so I hope you've enjoyed this little really 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 quick tour of just the spring and Easter decor that I've got going on in my home right now thanks for watching guys see you soon bye